Could World War III be more than just a possibility but a prophecy foretold centuries ago in the pages of the Bible? This intriguing question has stirred the minds of many, from historians and scholars to the average person, intrigued by the mysteries of the future. The Bible, a book of ancient wisdom and prophecies, has been scrutinized for its references to what some believe could be World War III. In particular, the Book of Revelation and the Book of Ezekiel are often studied for their apocalyptic visions. These visions, filled with symbolism and metaphor, describe cataclysmic events and wars involving nations from all corners of the globe. In the Book of Revelation, it speaks of a great war in heaven and on earth, where a beast rises from the sea representing a powerful global empire. Similarly, in the Book of Ezekiel, it prophesies a great war involving a coalition of nations from the north, south, east, and west. These passages have been interpreted by some as prophetic references to a potential Third World War. In the face of current global predicaments, recent happenings involving Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Gaza, and Lebanon are particularly notable. The already strained relations between Russia and Ukraine have escalated, bringing the world to the brink of a potential inferno, with the international community anxiously monitoring the situation. Simultaneously, the Middle Eastern region is engulfed in its continuous whirl of strife and peace negotiations. Israel and Gaza are embroiled in an escalating conflict, while Lebanon grapples with a severe economic crisis and political chaos. These geopolitical frictions are indicative of a world on the precipice of a monumental, the widening gulf of economic inequality, the tempest of political upheaval, and the incessant fight for resources. All these factors seem to be sketching a global picture echoing with tension and uncertainty, which parallels the forewarnings present in biblical prophecies. In this turbulent concoction, some interpretations of biblical prophecies suggest that these ongoing events might lead to the erection of the Third Temple. Should this event occur, it could dramatically reshape the world's religious and political terrain, further fanning the flames of global tension. Yet, while there are parallels to be drawn, it's crucial to remember that interpretation of biblical prophecies is subjective and varies greatly. The symbols and metaphors used in these ancient texts can be interpreted in a multitude of ways. The beast from the sea, for instance, might represent a single powerful empire or it could symbolize a collective global force. Similarly, the coalition of nations mentioned in Ezekiel might not necessarily represent a world war, but rather global cooperation or alliances. In summary, the question of whether World War III is a biblical prophecy is complex and layered. The Bible does contain passages that some interpret as references to a global conflict of epic proportions. Our current global situation, fraught with tension and conflict, does bear some resemblance to these prophetic visions. However, interpretation of these passages is highly subjective and it is important not to jump to conclusions. In the end, it is up to each individual to form their own understanding of these ancient texts and their potential implications for our future. As we navigate through these uncertain times, perhaps the most valuable lesson we can take away from these prophecies is the importance of striving for peace, understanding, and cooperation among all nations.